Alright, uh, happy namaste, amigos. This is your boy Wombat, and if you can't tell by the, uh, screen recording you're watching right now, I'm using, uh, OBS Studio, as you can tell here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the winner of the giveaway today. So, since I actually said I was gonna do this after this weekend, after the, uh, the big tournament happened, but I figured just in case someone on the West Coast happened to win it, I could just announce it beforehand, and if someone there wins, I can give it to them in person. No promises though, because I haven't actually selected the winner yet. I'm going to be doing that live. So basically how that's going to work is, uh, I made a, an L word of everyone who's commented and is subscribed to my channel here. And as you can see, I've got the Google Sheet with the number of 1 to 59 for all of the people who commented. It actually says there are, um, 69 comments on the video. But some of them are replies, and I think a few people have commented more than once, so I only did one uh, entry for each person who commented. So, first I am going to do a random number from 1 to 59, and we will see who it is. 25. Now, who is that? Who's demands? That is Hector James. So that is, I'm, I believe that's Hector619 from New York, so that's good. Um, I'm glad to know that this Spriggan is going to be going to someone who will probably put it to good use in the future, because I would hope New York hosts Classic again sometime soon. But uh, congratulations to Hector, you are the winner of the Spriggan Heavy Defense. So if you could just, um, either on the WB over here, Message me your uh, your shipping info, and I will get that shipped out to you as ASAP as possible. But, yeah. So, that's going to be it for the first part of today. Uh, the first video, because otherwise it would be a really short video. But, uh, another thing I want to discuss is... This. Beyblade West. This big tournament that's going to be happening this weekend. Um, in LA. I'm going to be going to it. It's going to be probably the most stacked tournament in maybe the history of the entire WBO. Like, if you just look at some of the people that's going, K, Tai, Yami, Jojo, Law, Me, TSO, Alta, Kimbo, Zanki, uh, the CEO, KJ, I guess Tangy Blader's not going anymore, but he was. Yeah, there's a few people who were signed up, like Tangy Blader, Sniper, Ardmore, who can't actually show up, but either way, it's still gonna be a huge tournament. Yeah, it looks like Infinite Zero, Laser, uh, Henwuja, apparently, um, DC, and even some people who haven't participated but still, like, have demonstrated they know a lot, like, uh, Nyx, or, I think this is Meister Yoon? No, this is Meister Yoon, right here. But either way, um, there's actually gonna be three tournaments that day. On Friday, there's gonna be Limited, which, wait, Shin, oh no, Shindog is here, yeah. Shindog is going to be hosting that one, actually, officially. So, I don't know who's going to win that one. Uh, that's that's really a toss-up. I... I feel like the people most likely to win would be... I don't know, it really is too tough to call for Limited, but I feel like it would be one of the people that was around during the MFB era more than the Burst era, like K or... Jojo, or Yami, or me, or TSO, or... I really think it's going to come down to one of those five. And for the standard tournament, I have no clue uh, who is going to win the, that one. That's a real wild card. But, like, my guess is going to be probably someone on this here first page of rankings for Burst because they're all pretty strong contenders. And then for Classic, I feel like that's the tournament I have the best chance in, that's on Sunday, but since I've actually never lost a Classic tournament before, I've only ever lost two Classic matches, and those weren't even ranked, so... I'm not saying I'm gonna win for sure, but I feel like that's definitely the tournament I have the highest chances of winning for that entire weekend. It just feels so surreal that this is, like, a tournament that's gonna be happening this weekend, like... 
I'm recording this on Tuesday now, if you can see just the bottom corner of the screen, but it's in two days, I'm just going to be on the other side of the country, and it's I, I haven't mentally prepared for this at all. I don't know if that means I'm going to lose, but like, I'm just not ready for it. And uh, something else is that in order to make sure that the seeding for this tournament is as accurate as, can, as it can be, I've been uh, working on processing tournaments and catching up to the rankings. Uh, right now, according to this like super classified spreadsheet, uh, we are completely done with uh, September. That means we only have four tournaments that are like blocking the way between now and October being done. And I feel like at the end of October would be a good place to just stop before uh, Beyblade West happens, just because... But way before the whole system got really backed up when the WBO got overhauled, uh, was... That was about a normal, like, delay period between when a tournament would happen and when it would get processed a month, maybe several months. But that's, that's not too unreasonable to be behind. Especially because a lot of these uh, tournaments have not even had their spreadsheets submitted yet. Or have like a challenge that I can like create a spreadsheet from for it. But either way, um, yeah, I think I just need to get the accounts created for these four tournaments and I can be done with October. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, because I am recording it two days before it's going to go up. Um, but yeah, this has been kind of a talking video uh, and the giveaway announcement and just kind of hype for this tournament, as hype as I can be for something, I guess. So uh, that's about it. I will see you guys next time. Adios, amigos.